rice is an essential staple food in the African diet. But production of the crop in Africa is far below demand. As a result, the continent imports more rice than any other region in the world. At the same time, there's enough arable land as well as farmers willing to bring it under cultivation. The Competitive African Rice Initiative, CARI, was launched to address this issue. CARI supports local rice farmers in Ghana, Burkina Faso, Tanzania, and Nigeria to overcome long-standing challenges and increase domestic rice production. Mr. Yusuf Isiaka Gabi, a civil servant from Aragungu in Kebi State, Northern Nigeria, started rice farming 16 years ago. In the beginning, his co-workers at the local government didn't understand why one of them would enter into such a business. My friends, when they saw me with the machine water pump in my bicycle or in my ride, they would say, oh, hi, look at this guy. He's always supporting himself. Let him go. Hello. As those people now, they are abusing us or, or laughing us, they are now come back into the business. Rice here, especially in KB State, the rice is our business. That was what we inherited from our parents. Yeah, 85% is ready. With this test, the farmer determines maturity of his crop. Mr. Gabi planted in the dry season. Irrigated farming, a practice introduced here just a few years back, makes it possible to harvest twice instead of only once a year. Good seed quality and improved farming practices encouraged by the Kari project have additionally helped farmers to increase yields. Before, the farmer cannot even produce maybe 30 or 40 bags of rice for a hectare. But for now, that we are trained very well, we know the importance of rice, we will have many techniques. Now a hectare, at least a hectare can produce 80 to 90 bags of rice. Higher yields translate into additional income, enabling farmers to invest into the business. Mr. Gabi wants to improve his threshing practice. Presently, he's doing the entire work manually. The carry come in and introduce threshing machine for us. They bring the threshing machine, they give us the sample, they train some of our farmers how to operate the thresher. A threshing machine works faster and reduces damage to the party, which in turn increases its market value. Suru Market, one of the major trading hubs for paddy in Kebi State. After harvest, the market is flooded with produce from all over the state. There's a lot of rice in the market. They are selling it 8,000 plus, 8,005. And to be sincere, if you sell your bag of rice at 8,000 naira, they are lost. You will go and sit outside, uh, outside waiting for uh, somebody to come and buy. Nobody will come and take the whole party you brought to at the same time to pay you. Mr. Gabi doesn't need to sell under these conditions any longer. He supplies his rice for a fair market price to Labana Rice Mills, one of the major processing companies in Nigeria. Last three years, uh, we started this uh, rice mill, and this is the largest rice mill in the whole Nigeria. And uh, now I can, uh, I'm going to explain you how we are doing our rice processing in the Benin KB, Nigeria. Material is moving uh, inside the milling section. This is complete parboiled and dried paddy. Here we are doing white whitening. So now you can see this brown rice, it starts to become white. Now you can see this is our final product. Right now we are running approximately 300 ton in a day. But we are planning for more 700 ton in a day. The mill's vast capacity calls for a constant paddy supply. To ensure that local farmers can meet these demands, the processor supports them with loans in form of cash and farm input, starting with seeds. We have started our own seed multiplication center. 
city multiplication farm where we get the the right variety of paddy rice we want farmers to produce and supply to us for processing. For stable paddy production, farmers also need sufficient amounts of good fertilizer, which is not easy to get for a common Nigerian farmer on his own. What we do in Labana, who buy the fertilizer with our money? Transport it to where you are located. Then the cooperative leaders will take over and distribute the fertilizer to you. You don't have to go about looking for fertilizer to buy. To enter into a contract relation with Labana, farmers need to be organized in cooperative groups. Mr. Gabi is presently the elected chairman of his group, the Gungu Rice Farmers Cooperative Association. Chairman Gabi started to produce his own seeds, which he also supplies to members of his group. I have three varieties of seeds differently. If I produce at least 100 bags of seeds, at least I have to reserve 20 at home for my fellow colleagues. The seed production diversifies Mr. Gabi's income stream and makes his entire group less dependent on inputs provided by the processor. In their current meeting, the group discusses their loan repayment to Labana. In terms of payment, I group one of the I Baba ya kanciwa ko buhu ne ka kai in ka ga da maka kai musu ka kawo wannan buhu 100 sai mu rubutu sunan ka da namba buhu wanka su 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 abin da suka biyarka da ka tace sai a daya 1210 duk abin da asaran kudi sai a baka abin ka poor access to finance is a major limitation for nigerian farmers to expand their businesses it is in Labana's commercial interest to reduce this problem. As a result, the processor is offering farmers loans at favorable conditions. We will give you without interest. Give you the inputs and give you the cash. And what we are expecting you to give us is exactly what we have given you. Don't add one kobu. Mr. Gabi used the loan from Labana to expand his farm. Returns from less than half the yield of the additional farmland already covered the loan repayment. A good season for the farmer. Hey, very, very good business. <laughs> In fact, very, very good business. Look at the millions that I will get from the banana. Contracted farmers are not required to sell all their produce to the mill. A fair amount of paddy is processed locally. These women have been trained by partners of the Kari project to improve their power boiling method. <laughs> With small adjustment to the traditional parboiling practice, the women manage to improve the nutrient content of their rice. The rice is consumed locally and generates income for the women in the parboiling cooperative. Knowledge is key for improvements along the entire rice value chain. Mr. Gabi is one of the students at the Pharma Business School. Participants acquire skills to plan production and make good decisions for farm and household. The trainings start with basics such as measuring the size of a farm. Then they move on to income and expenditure calculations and the concept of farming as a business. <laughs> Apart from the business school, farmers can also enroll into a second type of training. In GAP trainings, participants learn practical skills, which they can apply immediately on their own farms. Kari organizes these trainings jointly with local partners. One of these partners is the KB State Agricultural Rural Development Authority, CARDA. We've succeeded in making the farmer understand the importance of good seed. So the employment of good seed, the correct fertilizer dosage, correct time of application, good land preparation, all these uh, cultural practices under GAP, that's good agricultural practice that the farmers were trained on and that has made a lot of difference in the output. One significant change introduced to rice cultivation is the way farmers are planting their seedlings. Our farmers before us, they are not using nursery. They are just broadcasting their seeds. 
kamar ka debo shinkafa iri ka debo ka ciko hannun kawai ka ka watsa ka watsa ko ina ka fiye da kwasa pe 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 kana ruhewa shine aka ce broadcasting compared to broadcasting it greatly increases plant development when seedlings are brought up in nurseries and then transplanted with appropriate spacing into a leveled bed to jama'a kun ga yanzu kwara guda zaka dabe haka in ka dabe kwara guda bismillah kaga ma da wannan kwara guda a gane ko in ka dabe tsakanin wannan da wannan ita ma ta ka guda ga tashi guda kaga ma da ita a gane ko i believe in raising our agriculture to mechanization level but while we do this we should be selective in employing what is most relevant to our own level of development the development of a thriving rice industry in nigeria is a gradual process but it is a process worth the effort rice is not only a business first and foremost it is food a basic food in the center of the diet of millions of africans Carrie believes that better knowledge about agricultural practices, improved mechanization, well-organized farm groups, and a close collaboration between producers and processors are some of the key elements in a wider strategy to build a sustainable rice industry in Nigeria as well as in other African countries. For Mr. Gabi and his family, this strategy already provided a stepping stone into a future with increased opportunities. My son, one of my son is a uh, College of Agriculture Zuru. He's reading veterinary system. Veterinary, I have ladies here in comprehensives there too. So I can be able to pay their school fees, NEPA bill, water bill, and whatever. And I can take care of my you know, family. Very easy.